this is example um, 4.4 on page 147 of our text. And in this problem, we're going to be practicing the concept of stoichiometry, just basically um, converting between grams and moles of substances within a chemical reaction and actually using the balanced chemical reaction to write mole-to-mole -mole ratios for conversions. So in this problem, it gives us the balanced chemical reaction that occurs during photosynthesis. And it says that a plant consumes 37.8 grams of carbon dioxide in one week. Assuming that there's more than enough water present to react with all the CO2, what mass of glucose in grams can the plant synthesize from CO2? So the strategy for this is to start in one mass of something, convert it to moles, then use a mole-to-mole -mole ratio to you, um, that we're going to write from the balanced equation to then convert into moles of another substance and then finally convert back into grams. So we're only given one number in this um, problem, the 37.8 grams of CO2. And we want to go from CO2 to glucose. So in order to do that, we're going to have to utilize the balanced chemical equation that we have. Um, so if we're comparing the moles of something um, in the chemical reaction, those coefficients, not only do they tell us the number of molecules that are present in the chemical reaction, they also tell us the number of moles. So if we look at oxygen versus CO2, there's six CO2, or actually, sorry, we're comparing carbon dioxide and glucose. So in the reaction, there's six CO2 and just one C6H12O6, which is glucose. Um, so we can write a kind of equivalency for this, we can say that based on the chemical reaction, six moles of CO2 is equal to or equivalent or produces one mole of C6H12O6. And we're going to use that equivalency as a conversion factor when we're performing this stoichiometry calculation. So I'm given the mass of CO2, and I want to find ultimately the mass of glucose. So I'm looking for grams of glucose, and I'm starting with 37.8 grams of CO2. So the first step in doing one of these conversions is to get out of grams and into moles. So we've learned this previously in chapter 3. In order to go from grams to moles of something, you divide by the molar mass. So we're going to calculate the molar mass of carbon dioxide, one carbon plus two oxygens, and you should get the molar mass of 44.01 grams, or close to that, depending on the periodic table you're using. And then on top goes one mole of CO2. So this is my CO2 molar mass currently. It's going to cause grams of CO2 to cancel. Now I'm in moles of CO2, what I can use is this equivalency that I got from the balanced equation to go between two different mole substances. So since I want CO2 to cancel, I'm going to look at my balanced equation and see that I have a 6 in front of my CO2. 
Those coefficients, remember, can either stand for molecules or actual number of moles. So in order to cancel CO2, I'm going to put 6 mole CO2 on the bottom here. And I get that directly from the chemical reaction. On top, I put the substance moles that I'm trying to get to. In this case, the problem asks for glucose. Ultimately, we want to end up in mass, but we're going to start with moles. So if you look at the chemical equation, there's only one mole of glucose. So that goes on top of our unit conversion or equivalency conversion. So now moles of CO2 cancel. I'm currently in moles of glucose. And the final step to go from moles to grams is to multiply glucose by its molar mass. So molar mass of glucose, you add together six carbons, 12 hydrogens, six oxygens, is 180.2. Remember that's in units of grams per mole or moles per gram, depending on what we're trying to cancel. So on the bottom, we'll put one mole, C6H12O6, and on top is our gram component, 180.2. C6H12O6. So now moles of glucose have canceled. And the only unit that doesn't cancel is what I'm trying to get to, grams of glucose. So if I multiply across 37.8 times 1 times 1 times 180.2, divide that by the numbers on the bottom, you should get that you can produce 25.8 grams of C6H12O6, or glucose. And that is your final answer. This is, this is an example of utilizing stoichiometry. Um, and this is gonna be with us for a majority of the semester.